Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. If you've already subscribed to our channel, thank you very much. If you haven't, please do. And when you do, be sure and tap on the little notification button so you'll be notified every time we put up a new video. Thank you for that. Um, gee, you know, we were working on our last video. We were working on the knucklehead. Got the knucklehead all back together, runs like a dream, everything is fine, except I still had an oil leak. So I got back into it to see where it was, and one of the fittings from the top oil line is shot. Well, it's entitled, it's old enough, so I ordered a new set of fittings for that oil line, and they're coming from New York, which those of you who are in New York could probably go down the corner and get one. I have to wait till it gets here, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a few more days. It's uh, walking cross country and we'll have it soon and then I can get that going. So I wanted to, to work on some other things. You know, I get, I get people asking all the time, would you get back on this? Would you do that? Would you? I have to take things in order. And when I say things in order, my shovel head is really my main road bike and I'm planning a couple little trips and I'm going, you know... My left hand has been shattered, broken, messed up a number of times over the years. I'm very pleased to have it. I'm very pleased that it works at all. But I have to keep my clutches working well. That's one of the reasons I really like my hand shift on my pan. I really like the mouse trap on the knucklehead because it takes almost nothing to pull that thing. And this one was like that. I had it really set up nice. I have a uh, Rivera Pro clutch in there, and I've got the, the um, diaphragm spring pretty much flat in there. And I'm thinking, you know, I think I just need to lube it and go over it. So that's what I'm doing. So that's what we're going to do today, because these are the things I need to do. And hopefully you can pick up something from it. It'll be of some use to you. And I've shown this before. But it's like anything else. If I show them over and over again, hopefully I do a better job of, of demonstrating them every time and maybe you can learn something from them. Maybe I can. Anyway, so what I did was I started by, number one, if you're going to work on the clutch cable of a shovel head, number one, disconnect the battery. Battery is disconnected. That's the ground strap, and it is disconnected. Now, that needs to be done because you've got this big solenoid here. You've got the starter right in there. There is no room to work in there at all. It's really kind of difficult to do. But what you do in adjusting one of these clutches is you back off the center screw, you have an adjustment here at this cable, at the cable sleeve here. You take that all the way in, and you take the lever off. Now, one of the things I do, and that's why I've disassembled this already before I started the video, is I wanted to show what you do here. Now, this is something that's very important to me, is to lube this cable really well, and I do and I have, and it is, and so what I do is I get it going straight up and down, and that's why I lowered the bike on the lift a little bit, is so I can reach up here. Not that much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I just sprayed my lubricant that I'm using there. And this is, everyone's going to say, okay, what kind of lube are you using? This is brake free. And it's good stuff. It's got, it's got, um, multiple uses. No. Well, it's not just that. It's got, what, what do you call it? Teflon yeah. suspended in it. And what happens is once you get this cable really well lubed inside, it'll stay for a long, long time. And what I keep doing is just keep running more of it down there. And I guess it's been quite a while since I did this. <laughs> no, it's because the camera's watching. Okay. <laughs> okay now now we push the cable down 
<laughs> and that takes it right in there. And it does, it gets in there. Yeah. Now this is, again, we're adjusting a clutch on a shovel head. It's pretty much the same on an Evo, except that all of the later Evos don't have a clutch arm on them. And we're gonna go over to that arm in a minute. Can I mention something? Um, if we had time and weren't making a video, would you would do that, that plastic sandwich bag and then rubber band and fill it up and hang it straight up? So No, I just hang them from the, if I had the cable off, yeah. before I put them on, I usually hang them on the wall and just keep pumping that stuff down through them and it'll sit all night. And of course, gravity yeah. makes that stuff run down. And once it hits this big curve here, you'll notice there aren't any serious bends in this thing. I try to keep them... Yeah. Really nice sweeping so that they don't. Yeah, and you did that with my Dyna and it really helped. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, that Dyna, they really wind around oh, in there. You've yeah. got to, yeah, you got to really work at it. And, and that's what you do, you know. And, you, you know, then you can brag to your friends. Mine works better than yours. It's you know. easier. Huh? Easier anyway. Well, yeah. You know, I mean, if my hand continues to deteriorate i'll put a hand shift and a foot clutch on this thing i've got all the stuff sitting in the parts room ready to go i've got a police shifter for this thing that just goes right outside this big five gallon tank nice. yeah but you know this is i don't know i really kind of like the setup i have here this is an old and i do mean old barnett clutch lever they still make them and people will say to me, gee, Mike, that doesn't match your brake lever. No, it doesn't. But look at the width of that chrome steel blade there. Yeah. Okay. Now, for me, that is so comfortable for my hand. Mm -hmm. And that's really... The whole purpose. That's the whole purpose, yes. Yeah. yeah. And in fact, that master cylinder, I don't even know what year it is. It just happened to be a... A big old master cylinder that's the right one for the dual discs. So it doesn't match. I don't care. Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's, uh, it says right there what size it is. I think it's 11 sixteenths. Uh, yeah, I think it says it right in there. In there? Uh, oh, in there. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's 11 sixteenths. That's a big the big master cylinder for the dual calipers but we're not doing that today we're not into that today so what I do want to do is I want to put this lever back together again so I did bring out some grease this is not my usual white lithium this is uh, this is uh, ax uh, bearing grease Okay, so we're going to take this thing here and make it all fit, okay? We're going to take this pin here, okay? And let's see, it's going to go like this, and like this, and like this. Can you show this here? Okay. Mm, oh, okay. I get it right here. Okay, I'm doing this wrong, so <laughs> that's all right. Hmm. Boy, it's windy outside. Yes, it is. And I'm uh, not really enjoying it. Nope. Okay, I got that exactly backwards. Okay, exactly backwards. No, I didn't want to go for a ride in the wind today. No, not in the wind, but I did want to go for a ride. Okay, so we're going to go here. And there it is. Okay. It keeps spinning around right when I, there we go. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now we're gonna gonna find this uh, big bolt that I had. There it is. We're gonna lube it up, and we're gonna put this right here. 
right now, just like that. Well, I tried. Oops, oops, and oops. Excuse me. Oh. All right, we'll put it right on there, and we'll put this uh, put this bolt right here. Okay, now everything's nice and greasy and getting in my way, and you know, but that's all right. Okay, so we're going to put this in here. <laughs> what? I'm laughing at myself. Well, that's because you're put, funny. I put lights everywhere to get a great picture, but now I'm, every time I try to get a close-up, I'm staring at a light. <laughs> okay, now we have this thing in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put this right back in here. This is the center screw. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to raise this lift up real careful and real quick. You can do that. There we go. That should be a little easier for you to get in there. Wherever you need to be. Okay, now what we're going to do here is we're going to tighten this uh, center screw. Look at that. All right, now, see, I had to pull the lever to make sure everything was cool. And there it is. Now, what I want to do is I want to go over to the other side, and I'm probably, we're going to fight with each other for space, but I'm going to ask you to get over here because I want to point some things out. And, in fact, I think I'll even get this pointer here to do that. Hey. Pointer. Yeah, what I wanted to show was this lever all the way in there. You have to be sure that it's not touching anything. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look in the shovel head service manuals, the early shovel heads with electric starts. They tell you to have this arm five-eighths of an inch off the starter. Wow. If you go to the later one, uh, into the 80s, and you have the Astrodome-type transmission lid, they want it 13 sixteenths off the center of that lid. What we have here is a Baker six-speed transmission <laughs> and an aftermarket starter. The reason I say that is because it's just like all the... Uh, the comments that I get in the comment section, people asking questions, and at the same time, they aren't identifying what they have, and I can't always answer the question without knowing what they have. The reason I point this out is so you can see that, gee, this is the lever that Baker came up with to work on their transmission, and it works very well. It's a grand lever. But to, to set it to early model specifications eh, doesn't necessarily work. All I want to do is get enough leverage on this thing that it makes for an easy pull. You did not spark. I had not spark off my starter, which is why I disconnected the battery when we started out. Okay, I'm going back over to the other side. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're doing that. Thank you. 
Okay. Oh, vice got me again. Okay, now what we have here is we tighten this all the way up. And I say all the way up. As soon as we felt it stop, we stopped. In other words, I could keep going, and what I'd be doing is compressing the spring and, and making the clutch act like a clutch. Okay, now we've got that arm backed off as far as we can. So now I'm going to just back this off about a quarter of a turn, maybe just a hair more. Okay, and then we'll tighten the lock nut. Okay. Oops, sorry. Excuse me. Okay, now there. Gee, that really is working a little better. So we can uh, put that lock nut on that, uh, on the lever pin now. And we will make one final adjustment on the cable sleeve down at the bottom. And gee, that didn't take us very long at all. But it's really... Now, it will be better tomorrow than it is today, just from that new lubricant being in there. So when I come out here tomorrow to go for a ride, Okay, well that's all done, and the one adjustment I want to make, one more adjustment. Yes, can you uh, come over here? Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to set this one right here. This is the lock nut on the cable sleeve. Got that from the other side. Um, you know, if you had an extra hand, yeah. no, you can't do that from the other side. There we go. Kinda. Uh. -uh. I can see what the right is. That's about it. I've got it. I got it. Okay, and I'm going to show how to do this here. Can you get that? Can you get that in there? Can in you? There? Yeah, can you see that? Okay, can you see? well, I could if you got your arm in there. Okay, here. Okay, I can see, yeah. Uh, see it? Yeah. Okay, and there's the lock nut. Okay, what I have. That's a 916 crow's foot in there. And then a wrench holding it on the outside. And I still have enough free play in my clutch. Mm -hmm. And it feels fairly easy, but I'd really like it easier. We'll see. That's as good as it's going to get for now. Um, you can always put a mouse trap on it, right? Well, if I put a mouse trap on it, then I got to move my oil cooler. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> what? I was say the mouse trap is bigger than I thought. Well, the mouse trap is big. It's got a big spread. You know, I I do have a mouse trap put aside for it. Should I want to do it? But uh, put one, put it right here. No, 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 needs to go on that down tube. Okay. Needs to go on the down tube just like they intended. They really engineered it well. But anyway, so that's it. Other than that, it's just put the derby cover back on and we're ready to rock and roll. But that's just how the book really tells you to do it, is to loosen all of it and adjust the center bolt first. As you can see how well that thing's working. Yeah, I was trying to get some of that. Yeah? Here, let's see if it turns real well. Sure. Look at that. Oh, wow. See? That's real happy. 
And that is a Rivera Pro clutch. <clears throat> anyway, that pretty much does it. What I did want to say, however, is it is Christmas time. Now, before I get into t-shirts and things like that, there's something real important. Being that it's Christmas time, you know, toy runs are a gas. Toy runs are like one of the coolest things. I don't even know how many toy runs we're going to go to this year. Mm -hmm. I do know that there are a lot of them around, and I'm sure if you check in the area, there's some for you, which means bunches of fun, and kids get toys. Yep. I mean, gee, you think I'm a small child with his toys? I mean, I understand, and I think for all the kids in the world, I wish they would all have toys for Christmas. And where I used to live up north, we used to have actually truckloads of toys. And the bikers actually gave, this all went to the uh, uh, Salvation Army and they could distribute all the toys. Yeah. We actually got together and got 85% of all the toys came from the bikers in the community. Mm -hmm. A couple thousand people show up for the toy run. Mm -hmm. It was a gas. So please take advantage of those things. It's a good chance to be able to feel good. So yeah. have fun. Okay, next thing I wanted to say is since it is Christmas time anyway, please remember we have our shirts. And all you need to do is go to pacificmike.com, which is our website, where you can order shirts. Again, it's pacificmike.com, and that is our website. And in the upper right-hand corner, it says T-shirt store. Click on that, and there's the shirts. And people seem to like them, so I'm, I'm very pleased. They're my favorite. I'm pretty fond of that one myself. Picture came out so good. Yeah, well, that's that's uh, our art department did that. Shining on their fender, on the tank. Yeah, yeah. And then of course our hats. They are embroidered. There you go. There's our embroidered hat. Cap. Cap. All right. So. Um, I don't know what our next video is going to be. Like I said, we're trying to get caught up right now, and I'm waiting for the parts to come for the knucklehead. They should be here in the next few days. So until then, I'll see you out on the road.